Rideshare reseller Mike and we're back in the garage and we're gonna take a look at a few items that sold yesterday yesterday being Saturday so we have Saturday sales about nine items on Saturday today's Sunday uh, have a few offers out there that uh, should be coming through I haven't paid yet so I didn't put it up yet anyhow uh, we're gonna go over uh, what's sold let's take a quick look you know I like to be fast on these videos so let's take a quick peek all right let's start off with number one big item of the day no Yamaha recorder soprano this uh, is a little everybody's seen one of these if you've been if you've been through school you I think you've had one of these so here it is it's like a little recorder flute this one is uh, from Yamaha, so you know maybe a better name brand. They don't sell for much. I pick them up for like a buck, whatever, at a flea market or a garage sale. And got $19.95 and $9.95 shipping. So still good money and a simple ship. All right, let's hit it. Hit the next one. I'll also zip this back up somehow. All right, up next. All right, what do we have next here is this is a... Uh, out of my own, not my, I don't use these, but my kids, uh, Papa does. And we got a new TV. And these, if you've ever bought these, these are simo, Simoleo. They're uh, for hearing impaired people. And they are headphones, obviously, for, you know, for your, for your hearing. I was going to open it up, but it's kind of buried back down the bottom, so I'm not going to mess with it. It's got a little base on it. And if you see the picture, you can see the picture. There's the picture right there. And um, the issue with these, when you buy these, is, and if somebody's buying them, you've got to inform them which hookup you have. This is an RCA hookup, so it works with RCA jacks. The newer TVs do not have RCA jacks, so you got to be careful with that and letting the buyer know that, hey, make sure you understand that this particular brand, this model number will only work with RCA jacks. The other one that we just got works with the optical cable, and so that's why we had to buy a new pair. But we could sell this set, and we did. We sold it, I think we sold it for $39.95 and $9.95 shipping. So brand new, these are about 100 so you still got 40 40 back you got a little bit of money back so it helps to keep the old box too and uh, you know just for packing and shipping and it sold it sold within a week so quick flip quick flip all right let's take a look at the next item this was picked up at a garage sale and what this is I'll show you here it's a uh, very simple it's an Asus wireless adapter for notebooks comes with a little antenna set up in there and people who uh you know want to wirelessly use their uh, uh off their notebook need this little adapter and i got this at a garage sale last week i think you'll see it in one of my videos you probably will have seen it sold for 35 dollars. i believe i paid five bucks for this five dollars for this so 35 and free shipping, pretty light. It is under a pound, so that should work out okay. Oh, crash. All right, next up, Old Craftsman. I love finding Old Craftsman, especially with a box. This is a tapered jig, metal version. Um, I don't know if I can see, you can kind of see a picture of what it is right there, okay? What the taper jig does is when I was doing woodworking, I made a jig, so I, I should have just bought this Craftsman. But it l enables you to taper the wooden leg on the table saw. So it just sets an angle, you push it through, and you cut an angle or a taper on that particular leg. This guy, they don't sell for a whole lot, so you got to pick them up pretty cheap. I'm looking to see, I think it was 35 Taper, $35.95, $6 shipping. Only reason that was, was again, uh, there were several others online. I had to make sure that mine was priced right on this particular item because these just aren't gonna sell like phones or something else. They're not gonna sell that quick. So you have to be really price conscious when you set this one. Uh, I believe I paid five bucks for this and uh, you know made some good money on it. 
it'll ship in a simple little box. Won't cost too much. All right, up next. This was actually just found yesterday. I'm trying to reorganize everything. My garage is starting to fill up. It's getting tight around, just around me. If you could see where I'm, I'm almost standing in like a little circular area, square area uh, of uh, items. It's starting to starting to build again now that I'm out thrifting more even at garage sales. And this guy here was found at uh, a local club that's called the Eagles Club. They have these, about every two weeks they have these sales and uh, it's in their yard. They have quite a bit of stuff so it's really kind of interesting. And I found this guy. Now, I wish that it was uh, in pristine condition, but it's not. And it works. The only issue is if you take a look, you will see it right there where my finger is. The battery compartment is gone. But this little piece right here that I'm touching locks that battery in anyhow. If it was pristine, probably 125 to 130 in that range. But I flipped it fast because I bought three items from them for $10. I got this basically for three bucks. So I sold it for $59.95 and $19.95 shipping, and it sold quick. It sold within a couple of hours. I just wanted it to move. Uh, I didn't want to have to deal with it long, and somebody got a good deal. It's a working AE-1 Canon, which is a desirable one. Of these old 35 millimeter um, film cameras that we've talked about, this is the heavier duty you know, single lens reflex or SLR. Um, these are pretty desirable. These and Nikon. Minolta's a little bit further down, but I would say Nikon's then down into uh, Canon, then Minolta. So still sold. Still made good money. Still got money in a day. All right, what's up next? All right, over here. A little part from a, again, one of our items that we no longer were using. I think my daughter was no longer using it, and it's a part to a Breville juice maker with the uh, little push plunger. And it didn't sell for much, sold for $12.10.95 shipping, but I've parted out that entire machine. I didn't want to sell the whole machine uh, at once, I guess because I figured I could try and make more money off of each part, and I did. I might have made 50 bucks off of selling the whole machine, but by parting out the machine, I think I made about $80 to $100. This is the last part to that machine. So always look for the parts. I, a matter of fact, I was looking at, um, they had a, I was at the thrift store and there was a beautiful Cuisinart, vintage Cuisinart, but uh, food processor with all the tubs and everything. They wanted $13 for it. The unit didn't work, the motor didn't work. But I just couldn't justify. There were not enough comps on this particular unit to buy that. So I'm all. It does. It doesn't work. It doesn't mean I'm not going to purchase it. I'm just trying to figure out can I make money off of the parts that are still good. And that one I had to leave alone. Uh, let somebody try to fix the motor on it. If they fixed the motor, if it, it was working unit, it would have been about a hundred and seventy dollar unit. But I, I just didn't want to mess with that particular one. So look for parts to. Uh, Juice makers, all that kind of stuff. Vacuum cleaners, you've seen that too. All right, up next. Let's see if we've gotten everything. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. All right, this is, I got this at the same garage sale. I got that Asus Wireless. This here is a McCulloch steamer. And pretty good condition. Looks like it was used one time. And it just said, you know, everybody's probably seen one of those. Steam cleaner. And this guy sold for, I paid $10 for it. It sold for $74.95 and $24.95 shipping. It's actually in my city. Uh, I could offer to deliver it, but I think I'm just going to put it in a box. It's pretty straightforward. It'll be a one-day priority mail probably. Uh, I got $24.95 for shipping, so make a few bucks off ship. I'll probably make $10 off the shipping. So an $85 win on that particular item. All right, let's get on to the next one. Oh, I'm about to bend down, guys. All right, you have to trust me on this one. There are six of these. This was picked up free off of Nextdoor. 
And uh, I also got a stereo receiver and an amplifier that I still have, but will eventually sell. And this guy, it was just a lot of ThinkPad, busted up ThinkPads. And again, this is where we're coming back to something that's broken, right? These were broken and I really wanted the stereo more than I wanted this, but I took these because I figured I could try and sell them. And I got $50, there are six of them, and I got $50 shipping. So somebody paid $100 for six uh, non-working, as-is parts, uh, think, think pads by IBM. And he's in Missouri, so I might make a couple bucks off shipping. So I probably made 60, let's say I made 60, 65 bucks off of free, right? Totally free from next door, there were six of those, all right? All right, one more, big one, a little bigger one. Not like it's that heavy, but it is another big item. Uh, another little receiver. Now this is an NAD uh, tuner, tuner receiver. And what's interesting about this one was I was at the garage sale uh, last weekend and it, let me put this down. And they were playing music through two speakers with this unit and i wasn't paying much attention i thought they were just playing music for themselves and it was for sale and i looked they wanted twenty dollars for the two speakers and the receiver but i i i looked at the, the speakers i probably could have stored them and sold them locally but i didn't want to hassle with that so i just said look i just want the receiver i'll give you twenty dollars got 20 bucks for the receiver knowing that it was pretty good and it sold for 160 dollars and $24.95 shipping. Shipping should be right about right about $24.95 for this particular one. So good flip, 20 into 160. Again, I'm not afraid to ship all those receivers, all that kind of bigger items. Uh, I don't fear those. I love to uh, take the challenge on and ship those. Occasionally you're gonna have a problem, but I'll tell you a secret. If you're shipping, this is, this is a, a good, a good um, tip. When you're shipping items that are expensive, do not use United States Postal Service or UPS. Go straight to FedEx. You're gonna use FedEx. And if you have, let's say, a $250 item, insure it, even though you might not want to, it's not that much. And I will often add a signature required. A couple items I just had, uh, sent out were requiring a signature and had insurance. I have had several broken items from FedEx. I've had two uh, pretty good items break. And they were about 180 was for one and about 140 for the other. I insured them and had signature delivery. And what happens is the filing of the claim with FedEx is so simple and so easy. FedEx does not want to deal with, unless it's like a $5,000 claim or something, they just want to get rid of it. They will cut you a check for your, your loss. You will send them the eBay invoice, everything about it, and it takes literally, I mean like five minutes to file the claim once you hit enter, and within about seven to 10 days, they will cut you a check. They will cut you a check for Whatever, if you had it insured for 150 plus the shipping, let's say 150 plus 25, you're gonna get a check for 175. So it really pays to use the FedEx shipping side of eBay and protect yourself, especially on those larger items. And don't forget to get that signature on those larger items. It proves that it got there. You just don't, you know, 99.9% .9 of the people are good people out there. But there are some shady characters out there that will steal you blind. If you leave the door open enough, they will walk in and they will try and you know snipe your item, take a part out of your item, a lot of different ways. So be very, very careful with uh, the way you ship these larger items. I always require extra insurance and a signature. And I only use FedEx. All right, guys. Hey, hopefully you got something out of this video. Again, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.